It's nice and early on a Thursday morning. Happy Halloween to everybody. Spooky out there. We are going to go into that charity shop right there because yesterday, Michael or David, I can't remember the chap's name, lovely bloke, was doing the pack testing on the electricals and they're due to come out today. They might have even gone out last night in the evening. So I want to be in there first. We've got about another two minutes to wait, but it feels like forever. And I've only got my phone today, so hopefully we can get some good footage. Shit, feds. Oh, ambulance again. There's always an ambulance going past when I'm here. I'm so early, the lights aren't even on. Hey, 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 can't you sleep? No, all I think about is this shop. I need to ask you a question. Yeah. Um, I've got an elderly man who lives near me who's very, very deaf. Yeah. He has been up in the loft and he shouldn't because he's 90 years old. Yeah, but that's he's, what we do. He found, he's, he's found his old LPs, which are like operas and stuff. So I said I'd ask you if, if I know record players are like gold dust now. At the minute, I don't have one. No. But I do see them all the time. Okay. So hopefully this Sunday when the car boots on, I might find one. Yeah. And if I do, I'll just grab it for him. It won't cost, it won't cost him anything. No. He, well, he, he, he won't. If he can't hear it, he won't even want to keep it. Yeah. If he can hear it, he want yeah. to keep yeah, it. that's fine. Oh, bless I'll, you. I'll keep an eye out. Thank one, you. He's one, a one. lovely man. He's a, such a sweetie. Yeah, if I find it, I'll just pick it up for him. He hasn't, he hasn't got to pay for it. Yeah, it's, that's lovely. Good stuff. That's okay. Well, there's not a lot. This can be good. Yeah, not a lot. That's all right, I suppose. Yeah, soup maker will have that. 15 quid, I think. Caravan club. And that Jay from in between us. Hello. Quite a few fleas in it, but 150, we'll go for it. There was so much kicking off last week, weren't there? We couldn't find any else No. This is a very nice little brand. Braun Buffel, Germany. It's a nice one as well, but it's not a massively desirable pattern. And it's more than the other one. That's cool. Eight quid. Not massive amount left, isn't it? That's cool. Oh, sorry. Yeah, how are you, dude? All right? Good man. You love your DVDs, don't you? Yeah, fantastic film. Full of twists. Yeah, that's it. Chick, chick, boom. That's a good, that bit. Yeah, fantastic stuff, that film. Equalizer's good as well. Denzel Washington, isn't it? Yeah, I, I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Valkyrie. I'm not seeing Valkyrie. Oh, yeah, I might have seen it, actually. I'm not too sure. That's brilliant. Oh, that's sweet. I know, it's lovely. I've got a very big Disney fan that I know, so I'm going to oh, see if well I can done. wrap it up for them. You've got so many contacts, you know. He's a do you go around and say one million millionaire? Yeah, but I know I'm lying. <laughs> Kept everything. If it could be used again, it could. Yeah. You know? well, I tried to explain to somebody because some, a lot of people hate people like me who come in and we buy a lot of stuff, we buy it, we sell it, we do what we do with it. When I tell them that in one shop alone I've done nearly 2,000 in the year, they're like, it opens their eyes a little bit. They're like, yeah. oh, okay. Because imagine if everyone that was like me stopped coming into the yeah. shops, you'd be I screwed. Know, people like you. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. This is what we do after, isn't yeah. it? No, it's that, that's it. I always say that the charity shop makes money, yeah. and that's what we're. I'm taking it. I'm going to get that without even researching it. I'm just going to get it. Interesting. Well, I've got a basket full of breakables. Morning, Ricky. Good morning. 15, 15, 15, 20. Ooh. Fun selection today. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. Being early always pays off. Doesn't matter where you go. Although they are restocking the shop still now, meaning they're going to be putting stuff out later on for the day as well. And I've got a Halloween party and I've got somebody to come in to buy my old phone. Shit, what have I done with that? The absolute nightmare I've had listing this. A thousand messages a day. People offering stupid amounts. Now I've got somebody coming to look at it to pay full price. But anyway, we're not talking about that. That's the iPhone 14 Pro sold. 400 is the asking price. 400 is what we got. I had to dodge and curve 
so many low-balling people on Facebook. It's unreal. You have to wait for about 50,000 offers before you get somebody who's worth talking to and trying to seal the deal. So that's gone. They got a good little price as well. Who cares? Boring. Boring. So today I spent a grand total of £13. Hopefully that's focusing for you. I've actually got another £5 loyalty points. Come on. Let's show you what I picked up. There's a few brands that you might learn about here today as well. Mm, actually, one brand you might learn about today. <laughs> Let's just kick off with that. £1.50 paid. I have carefully peeled off the sticker because putting these kinds of stickers onto soft leather like that is ridiculous. But they're a charity shop. They don't care or know or bothered or they don't care enough to want to know. I don't blame them. This is by a brand called Braun Buffel. It's a German brand. They make high quality leather products, wallets, belts, things like that. This is a keychain wallet. You know, you can put your cash in it at the back, but it's not exactly the most desirable item, is it? Key. I don't know anybody who carries around keys in something like that anymore, if at all. There will be people, of course. But even though it is that kind of thing, for £1.50, they should be 15 to £18 back on that, without a hitch. There's the logo. And there's the name again for you. Stick that one in the bank. This one, I took a pure risk on this one, even though since doing some research, I was looking like, oh, I do know that brand. I've sold this before. This is Gillac. It's a plasticky kind of melamine material. I believe this to be, it's got a matching little dish at the bottom. The dish matches this here, £1.50. I believe that to be, I could be wrong, show me if I'm wrong, a toothbrush and a sipping jar. What do you reckon? Don't know about the value, but for £1.50, there's at least 12 in it, so I don't mind picking that up. There could be more, but I know that that will sell for about 12 quid, regardless, just because of what it is. Paid up now for these steins. I say I paid up because I did it without without checking. I just I just didn't research, I just bought them. But we've got this 1984 Budweiser Los Angeles Olympics mug. Games of the 13... What, XX111RD, 13th rd 13th rd I'm guessing that's how you did it in Roman numerals. Games of the 13th Olympics, Los Angeles, 1984. No, 20, 10, 23, 23rd. Oh, dickhead. XX is 10. Games of the 23rd. Now that makes sense. I saw two Xs, but I only claimed one. I wish you'd have my brain for a bit. But you know, I don't know what she's doing. What's she up to there? Stretching, I guess. 1984 Budweiser Los Angeles beer stein. Paid five pound. I'm going to say comfortably 18 to 20 on that. And the same price for this one. This is a Disney Mickey Mouse through the ages. So he starts off as Steamboat Willy. Uh, moving into Fantasia. No, what's that one? Uh... I think that's still a Robin Hoodie type thing. Fantasia and obviously Mickey Mickey and then Mickey as we know now. Again, £5 on that one. Hoping 18 to 20 Now, you saw me get excited. You saw me get excited. This design is one of Pyrex's most desirable when it comes to collectors. There are many Pyrex designs out there. A lot of trash. But then you come across something like these. These are fantastic. Now it does have a lot of what's known as fleas. I'll show you what that looks like up against the light. And it's basically chipping and flex on the paintwork, which has gone. And it's one of those kind of things, you know, when it comes to like grading Pokemon cards, people like them to be perfect and mint the best condition, the higher the grade they get. Same with stuff like this. Any burnt in stuff hinders the price. Now this is JAJ. Pyrex 2161 Snowflake Space Saver in pink casserole dish. If it had the lid, it would be worth more money. Quite a bit more, actually. And there's a little part of me thinking, oh, I hope there wasn't a lid there. So I'm going to find out in the edit. And if there was, I'll just go back and get it. They'll give me it, unless it sells, obviously. I could go out and source the lid. But the condition that it's in, it's still good condition. It's nice. It's no major horribleness. Tiny little chip just there on the edges. But outside of that, you know, it will still add a nice little bit of whimsy to somebody's kitchen. Just a really nice piece. That was £1.50, which is making me wonder if there's a massive crack in it. There's not. 
And then the crappy Pyrex one, I say crappy, the more or less desirable, unless that was a design that passed me by and I've completely messed up, was two pound. This as it is, in this condition, I'll be aiming for about, I wanna sell it fast, don't I? 39.99. I could squeeze for more, but then again, the condition lets this one down slightly. You won't understand what I mean by that. When you're looking at it, you go, it looks fine, it looks fine, but I would have shown you some fleas by now. In fact, let's see if we can do it together with this. If you get Pyrex and you find a light source, which is this one, and then you hold it up to the light, I'll show you here, like that you can't really see there's any marks on it. You can see like little marks and stuff, but then if you, hot, there you go, you see that? You see all those little chips? They're known as fleas in the industry. Oh, they're quite bad, them ones. But you don't necessarily see them just as they are. You know, nobody's in the kitchen like, everybody look at my casserole. Casserole on the face, gravy, onions in your nose and stuff and stuff in. But yeah, I think that size should be about 40 quid if I want to sell quickly. I could be wrong. It's been a little while since I've actually sold one of these ones. But I sold the big three story stacking ones with the lids to America for like 480. She tried to scam me and I ended up winning the scam and she got nothing, she had to keep the item, which was great. But we're not gonna go into that because that's old news. So what I know about Pyrex isn't really worth knowing. Although I did know Gooseberry is one to look out for. Picked it up, they were two pound a pot. Now I've just looked at some solds and can anybody tell me if this is correct? Oh, what's going on? Are they really worth that much? Have I just struck a jackpot? I need to check condition, but I'm not too fussed about condition. Well, I am, obviously, but if that is the selling price that it goes for, I'm going to be fine anyway, anyway. I? So I'm looking to you beautiful reselling ladies and gents. I've got Monocle and who's the other chap? JD Network. There's a few of you. Some, 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 uh, some enlightenment would be fantastic. But that was the same design as this, I think. Oh, no, that was the Gooseberry. That was a gooseberry. So gooseberry is another one to look out for as well. The more bold in the colours, the better. Vintage Pyrex, snowflake design, space saver casseroles, look out for them. I'm going to have all of you lot in there now going, you shouldn't be telling everyone this. Shut up. There's plenty for everyone in this world. Ayrton, ignore that. The water. Right. Got some sales. Only a couple. Might as well do them while we're here. Vinted, first of all, Steve over at KLA Antiques has picked up the, I was gonna call it, a sh oh, it is a shirt, of course it's a shirt. It's the British Army Woodland shirt. Steve has picked this one up for £8.88 and it's his fourth purchase from me now. I wanna give a massive shout out to his good friends, Morgs and Tash, because they're the ones that actually put him onto the videos. And he said, since then, the love has grown. So I massively appreciate all of you and this will be on its way to you today, Steve. I thought I had a big mark on it then, but it's not. It's just part of the bloody camo. <laughs> I thought Mr. Hawkins picked this one up for a second, but I had to take another check at the username. It's actually sold to Wildebeest. What a name. What a cracking name. Thanks, Ricky. Big fan of the videos. I watch them with my 11-year-old son. I'm also a seller on Whatnot and on here under the name Wildebeest. So please do go check out that username on both platforms. He's picked this one up for £15.15. And 15 pence. Really nice one, this. Little Reebok jersey. Come on, the Jets. I don't really care about American sports, really. I don't really care about any sports, to be honest. Now, everybody knows him. You either love him or you hate him. The main man, John Shepard, has picked up the... Ignore that, John. The main man, John Shepard, has picked up the Lego stationary pen holder. It's a really cool one, a little rotating piece. I really like it. And now I'm actually looking at my stationary holder. I'm thinking... Probably should have kept it. But John's picked this one up for eight pound. I appreciate you, John, mate. I'm sure I don't need to tell you all where his channel is, but if not, John Shepherd on YouTube and Instagram. He's everywhere. I think that's it for the sales, unless I've had any on eBay. Food buy. Oh, I have. Ah, yes. Do you know what? I'm actually just gonna put a screenshot up of that. 17.99, we've sold the Kagan Textiles Ganex jacket, paid a fiver from a car boot sale, and it's gone. Fee free, 17.99. Boom.
So keep an eye out for your crazy patterned, highly colored Pyrexes. And if I can find it, which I'm sure I will, if I dig deep into the archive, this is the video here where I found it, or at least I spoke about it, maybe even sold. If not, watch that one anyway.